All right, here's our Zerg player spawning in the red, spotting him in the bottom left, spawning in the Zerg, spawning from the team FXO. Hopefully he'll go for a more macro style this game. FXO Lina. FXO Linok, there he is. And here is our Terran player. Has taken some risks. Has made some mistakes, but he's up 2 1. Putting King Prime Wing. Marine King fans cheering for him here. Here in the studio. We've got some free uh, Pepsi today. Yeah. You guys come down to the studio. I had a, I had a half Pepsi. of a Mountain Dew for free. I had a whole Pepsi. Trying to say I have a drinking problem. I just like Pepsi, <laughs> calm down, Mole Trap. It's not a by problem, way, okay? I drink Pepsi all the time. Thanks again to uh, G Skill as well as Pepsi, by the way. G Skill making some awesome random access memory for your computer Dora. Yeah. No, what's interesting about this uh, this map is, of course, really long rush distance. There are destructible debris in the middle of the map that I was talking about earlier, but. You can go command center first on a map like this quite easily, and that's exactly what Marine King's exactly going to do does. here. And Lenok, I like the fact that he sent a drone scout again. He doesn't want to lose to anything crazy. He wants to see what's going on. And now that he's seen that command center, I I will be really, really, really shocked if Lenok doesn't get a third base. Yeah, he may, he may very well immediately double expand. I think that would be a very nice reply to this, especially on this map where it's very difficult to attack a third base location. I mean, it's just a huge map. No matter where he puts the hatchery, it's going to be super far away from Marine oh, King. And that drone may die, but the SCV may die as well. He's dancing that drone around. But that drone is like punching the <laughs> commands with his boxing gloves. He's like, I got this. Marine I'm doing my part. Marine King has wisely been um, repairing the injured SCV in See between this? battles. See, this is actually like when you're, you're driving in the car with your mother, and she's like, did you see that nice car? But you're like playing your Game Boy, and you like didn't see it. And like she's like, no, it's right there. And you like look up, and she's like, oh, it's already gone. That's what this is like. It's not like the other one where you see a nice car, you see the little Ferrari over there, and you're like, ah, oh, that's what this one's like. So he like almost gets the SCV, but <laughs> but Marine King's kind of busy, you know, helping. Oh, he might get it anyway. Oh, he stopped chasing, went the wrong way around the command center, and that drone should probably just run. Yes, the Marine comes out, and so drone gets away with his life. Wins its Game Boy game. Yeah, man. But doesn't see the car. Yeah, like, that, see, like, uh, whatever was, like, that means. Uh, at the end, I was like, well, maybe it's like he sees him again at the next light. Like, <laughs> but, like, no. The drone got away. Everything was fine. Nobody died. There was no deaths of workers here. Oh, well. Units lost to zero, 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 zero. That's it, man. That was it. Imagine if the units lost tab actually showed things and hit points. So I'm checking out that destructible I'm looking debris. at destructible debris. I'm trying to see what it's made out of, man. It's it's made out of debris, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look and see if there's any... Oh, here's the tool tip. It's a barrier that can be destroyed to allow access to new areas. There you go. That's, like, so funny. It's, like, destructible debris, but it's actually... it's it's That's written in such a way where it sounds as if it was created to impose, like, impose movement. You know why? Because it was in the map editor... Sorry, Mole Trap. I'm sorry. Sorry, I just like shattered your reality. I'm gonna cry, but man. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking cry. Um, Santa Claus isn't real. What? <laughs> sorry, Day Nine already told me about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so Lenok is droning up like crazy. I like this. I like the fact that he's at least getting some econ going. Speed is almost completed for Lenok as well. He has decided not to double expand. I guess that's actually a little bit wise. Considering the fact that it's Marine King and he's going to attack you all the time. And well, yeah, he I might mean, be vulnerable. Got to be careful about that. And I mean, you know, it doesn't technically do much good to expand to a third base until you have enough drones to support your two bases anyway. Bailing that's going down here. Uh, now, this is the type of bailing that I was talking about before where you can be aggressive with it if you want to, but it's more of a defensive measure in case Marine King has just been hiding a ton of barracks in his main base, which he has gone up to four. He hasn't done the six barracks timing attack. Yeah. But you've got to be very careful about this because if Marine King attacks you with his beautiful Marine Micro and you don't have a Baneling Mask, we see things happen like we saw earlier in game one. It just yeah, happens man. to you. Just happens and you get owned. Um, combat Shields first again for Marine King. 
Interesting. Doesn't want to get stem. He's going to play defensively. Now, basically, in most cases, Leonok would have made a macro hatchery by now, but he's going for a very fast spire. Now, the reason being is because it's such a large map. I know we keep talking about this, but because it's such a large map, he knows he can get away with getting that fast fire on two base. Control, Marine King. Every time Marine King moves out, if he moves out too far, the Mules just can do so much damage, so he has to kind of always stay a little bit close to his home. But this is a nice little timing by Marine King. This is a very common timing attack with the four barracks when you know the spire is going up. This is a really, really good attack by Marine King. And Leonok, he's got seven banelings on the way. Those are going to be this first seven banelings he has. It's going to be difficult for him to hold this, but I think he just I might have he enough. Might be able to. This spine crawler is going to get down just in time. He's got a lot of speedlings there. And here comes the Banes coming from behind. He needs to get into position. This will not do enough damage unless he can trap the Marines with the speedlings. Um, I think Marine King's actually just going to go home because there's so many there's speedlings out that he could get trapped yeah, himself. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose his whole army, then he'll exactly. lose the macro game. So smart move by Marine King. Actually, Marine King's going to go around and check for the third and kill it if it's there, which it isn't. Yeah, uh, and this actually could end up being bad for him if Leonok realizes those units are over there. He's trying to find the army right now with his speedlings. And he might just do it. Marine King, uh-oh. Oh man, this is going to be actually really good for Marine King if he engages it at the line Does of sight blocker. See it? I don't know if no, they both saw just that. they didn't see it. That's just the two That's armies just passing very coincidentally there. That was like two cars looking for each other, and they're on different it's roads. Like two nice cars. Two nice like, cars. They're both like, trying to find the other one. They're trying to. The both both the mothers in the car are like stop playing your Game Boy and look at that nice car. We're like <laughs> she's like. Stop, stop playing your Game Boy, we're on vacation. You're like, but mom, it's just a bunch of trees. She's like, we're going to a nice park. You're like, no, I just want to play my Game Boy. Like, I'm actually like 12 years old. I play my Game Boy Advance. I want to play like Metroid on my Game Boy. Calm down, mom. Dude, Metroid was a good game. It was a good game. Um, a few Mutalists are out here. They're going to do some harassment. He's actually, it looks like he's stopped producing Mutalists, though. He may just try and, no, never mind, they're going to make some more. So like nowadays, if I ever you know go see my family, I'm actually just like looking up LR threads on Team Liquid on my phone. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm like, the Game Boy has been replaced by the smartphone. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is. I wonder if you know 12 year old kids actually have smartphones now. Is that is that a common thing? Uh, I've been seeing it more and more. I know that 12 year old kids have cell phones a lot. Well, these mutas really don't want the upgrades to finish, but I gotta say those engineering bays have almost as much armor as destructible debris. Not gonna happen. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna tell me this is actually just a video game with simulated like units, and and the, these characters, these guys are not actually just controlling armies somewhere in a distant universe. Yeah, that, um, I don't believe you, Wolf. Well, you know, you can believe what you want. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your You're life. You're taking away my dreams. <laughs> this isn't a dream. This is a nightmare. Oh, Burrow's almost finished. He's gonna burrow some banelings. On that ramp, that'd be beautiful. Actually, he's just gonna go in and try and kill some Marines here. He needs to not go too far. Gets yeah, the was, tank. Whoa! Oh, that was a bit silly. Oh my god, is does Marine King have like a six and he's like, wait a minute? No, he he actually saw them burrow. Oh, he saw them burrow? He actually they were within vision when he burrowed in front okay. of him. So I was like, that's why that I was, said it was silly. I was like, why did Leenok like think he could pull that off? Like Well I didn't realize it, he saw it. I was like, well, that's crazy, man. Marine King was just like, wait, something's not right here in these scans. He has spidey sense. He like he's like watch I'm gonna do a magic trick and he like he's like pick a card any card and he like takes the card and he like puts it in his pocket just right in front of him and he's like all right now I'm gonna pull your card out of my pocket he's like I saw you put it there <laughs> that's pretty much what it was man well these banelings are in a very good spot though that are burrowed in front of Marine King's base he's probably gonna try to bait those Marines out with this music. this is becoming a common strategy in this matchup. And so, so common so that Marine King would probably expect something like this. It's going to be very careful. And those engineering bays are getting pretty low. Unlike destructible debris, though, they can be repaired. But it looks like this one's not going to be repaired in time. Oh, it's burning down. Oh, it's burning down. 22. Oh, he barely repairs it. He should have gone for that last hit, man. It would have been worth a minute. It would have been worth it, man. It's too bad. Well, he's going to take out some of these Marines. You those know what SCDs can be are not repaired? Mine. What's that? Is neutral buildings like depots. Neutral depots. Yeah. Can um, you can manually heal a scantipede. Really? Or calf. Yep, it's a biological unit. <laughs> if you target it, you can heal it. You have to manually target it, though. One of my good friends, Clark, told me that. Dude, I love um, Roach Medivac in 2v2 games. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty effective. Uh-oh. 
The loose units here. These views have just been everywhere. Oh, gets a tank and a handful of Marines. Nicely. Oh, is he going to walk into this? Oh, he does. On the Zerg, he's going to surround. Nice split by Marine King. Leonok has to go home with some losses. And yeah, he's losing a lot of actually units. Actually, he almost gets trapped. Oh, no. He gets trapped. And has to lose his entire army. He does pick up some good Baneling hits, but that was not worth the exchange, I don't think. I don't think so either. Marine King has taken a pretty decent supply lead. He's on three bases. This is going to be the moment He's where... He's destructing the debris, Wolf! I know, man. He wants to move forward and attack. That debris is not going to be around much longer. Sorry to interrupt you there. Well, I'm just going to say, this is the moment where Marine King is going to move out because he knows his opponent has more than three bases, and he's like, well, I've got to make something happen here. And this is the part where Lenox thinking, how much time can I buy while I tech up? I'm getting my plus two air weapons. That's about to finish. I'm getting my plus one. Melee attacks already got plus two carapace. He wants to tech up, get a little bit more, you know, get better upgrades essentially. Yeah. But Marine King is not going to give him a lot of time. And, he's, and Marine King's actually going to hit 2 2 in a second as well. Yeah, this um, is going to be a really good timing. Linux going to have plus 2 air, but only plus 1 ground. But I think he's more buying time for a lot of Bane Links. He just morphed in a bunch. He's got 22 Zerglings incoming as well. Here comes the Zerglings to surround the Marines. The Marines are all trapped against the wall as well, but not enough Bane Links land. Linux may go down right now. Marine King may advance to the finals in mere moments. I don't know if Lena can hold this off. I don't think he can. There's just way too many Marines. 21 Banelings on the way, but look at how many Marines are streaming. And he's even got tanks in here. He doesn't have siege mode, but those tanks are going to tank a lot of damage. Yeah, man. Those Marines are pretty badly injured from stimming. The Medvex can't quite keep up. He's lost his natural and his macro hatch, so he's going to lose all of his tech buildings. This Spire. one last Baneling attack is going to be his last defense. If this Banelings don't kill his whole army, he's going to lose the game. And the Banelings hitting a lot of siege tanks instead of Marines. Oh, no. This looks like it's going to be it for Leonog. And the split seals the deal. Banelings do not do enough damage. The Mutalists go down. The Spire goes down. The Infestation Pit goes down. The main layer goes down. And GG. Leonog goes down 3-1. to one. Marine King has shown us that he still has it. He can still win games against top class players. Wow. Yeah, man, he crushed through those games. Wow, wow, wow. And Leonog not going to be happy about this, but that's okay. He's still got his chance in the up and down matches. Um, no, that attack by Marine King was just so well timed. He hit yeah. it with 2 2. He did micro really well. And Leonog was caught a little off guard. He, he spent a lot of money on those upgrades, and he. When he did that attack, like you said, his units got trapped. He lost a lot of his units. Those were his time buying units, and he lost them. So then, when yeah. Marine King was like, "Well, you can't counterattack in my main anymore because you don't have that many mutas. I killed a lot of your mutas. I killed a lot of your zerglings. So yeah. if I attack you now, there's there's nothing to stop me from attacking yeah. you, and I'm just gonna kill you." And he did. Leonok did not have access to new areas, and he ran his he actually ran his zerglings like. Like it was almost as if he was like, "Oh, I could just run back this way," and he didn't know. He didn't realize that the debris was not destructed yet, and uh, like he like ran that way. He's like, "Oh crap!" And then he like ran back, and the ramp was too far away. So he's like, "Well, I got to do what damage I can." Yeah, it was really him, odd. Threw him on there, but he didn't do enough damage. And he thought maybe if he brought the mutas as well, it might have turned the tide a little bit. But he just lost too many mutas, and he shouldn't have even brought the mutas at all. So bit of a mistake there, but. That's how things go sometimes. Yeah, man. And that one attack just kind of really changed the game. Leonok had four bases up and running. He even had an extra hatchery, so he had a ton of production. He was teching up. He got plus two. He had yeah. plus two carapace already. He had plus two weapons on his mutas. He was a plus one for his melee. So things were progressing yeah. okay for him. He had map control, but then he threw it all away with that attack that didn't make sense. He got a little greedy. I think he was trying to make Marine. He was hoping that Marine King was going to make some mistakes and die to Banelings, basically. Yeah. Um... And that could have gone a little bit differently as well. I mean, that one point where he had like half a dozen banelings and a bunch of zerglings in the fog, and Marine King yes. was like, "Oh, let me go get those mutalists." If he'd waited like a little bit longer, he could have run his zerglings around and stopped the marines and then sent the banelings in. Yeah, exactly. But instead, he's he like he was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna kill Marine King's whole army!" Watch this, and then like he did it a little too early because he was uh, just like overzealous or something, and Marine King was like, "Oh, let me fall back here." Yeah, just a little bit of a mistake. So, um, could have gone a lot differently, and I mean that was a situation where, uh, when his zerglings got trapped, it was like 180 supply for Marine King to like 170 for Leenok, and after that it was like 180 to like 150 or 40, and so he just was like too far behind to hold off Infinity Marines. Here's the results for today's matches: Ganji taking out Slayer's Tasia 3-0. 
And Marine King falling to, uh, and, uh, I'm sorry, Marine King beating Lenok 3-1. to one. And semifinals taking out Wolf's Liquibed. <laughs> I actually lost both of those today. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really depressed, man. I was doing quite well, well in my Liquibed this season. Now I think these I, two games are going to put me pretty far behind. And I'd say they're two of the most difficult decisions I've ever had to make in my Liquibed. I thought you were going to say, like, in my life. I was like, you've never had to make a more difficult decision. <laughs> oh, trust me, I've made some had, more difficult You've had a nice life. Trust me, I've had a lot of decisions like that, Moltrap. Uh, those were actually easy decisions for me. I was just completely wrong, apparently. <laughs> um, so that means that the final is going to be happening next Monday. It's going to be Slayer's Ganji versus Marine King Prime. Yeah, TVT. Going to have a TVT final, as always, with Code A. Yes. Um, up last, last time it was PvP. Well, yes. I, I didn't mean literally always. Right, right, right. We've had a few TVT We've had finals, quite a few. But actually, like some people were like, oh, TVT. But TVT is actually a really dynamic matchup right now. And we're going to have uh, a clash of styles, I think, too. Because Marine King, he does things that are kind of out of the box. He might stick with Bio still. Whereas I believe um, Ganji's probably going to go for the Slayer's mech style, the newer probably, style. Probably, yeah. And so we'll and, see those uh, styles clash, man. Exactly. It'll and if anyone be... can still make bio work I think exactly so we could see you know has Marine King changed it'll be like kind of a big statement in the metagame it's like if Marine King has switched to this mech style that means that it's really dead yeah the, he's the gonna bio have to style get a, really be dead he's gonna get another silver medal and then call himself uh, a Hellion King or something instead <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> well um, I mean, we make all these jokes this is really sad the Marine King hasn't been able to clinch that title yet but I mean, winning Code A isn't really the same as being a Code S champion, but he's no. he's going to put himself one step closer if he does end up winning that. Now, speaking of Code S, we are going to have Code S matches tomorrow. You guys saw those up on the screen, so tune into that. We'll have Tasteless and Artosis out here casting those matches. Yes, indeed. So look forward to that. Getting a little bit more casting in before they fly back to the States. Yeah, I had a lot of fun MLG in Japan. Action. I was gone. I'm glad to be back here casting with you. We're glad you're back as well, Wolf. Yeah. I had a lot of fun... Staying here? Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> it's really fun to stay here. I'm like jealous. Like, well, you got to cast some extra days. Um, oh, man. Um, so, so, guys, yeah, yeah uh, go to m.gomtv.net on your mobile phone. You can watch live on your mobile phone, your mobile device, your iPhone or your iPad. You can, of course, follow GOMTV on Twitter at GOMTV. You can follow me at EpicSoWolf. You can follow him at Moltrap. That's right. Is it Moltrap? It's just Moltrap, right? It's just, not Moltrap. Just at Moltrap, yeah. yep. And uh, you can also go buy yourself a Pepsi. Yeah, go buy a Pepsi. That's what I'm going to do after this. And you can also go get yourself, if you need some RAM upgrades, if you're like, you know what, I need to play on ultra settings, I'm going to go get some G-Skill RAM. Yeah, G-Skill is very powerful. Not just for StarCraft, but anything else you do on your computer, use yeah. some All right. things that take up a lot of power. So anyway, we're going to sign off here. We'll see you guys next time.